<gasps> that state of the art. You will not be getting up anytime soon. Who are you? What did you do with the president? You are not very aware of your surroundings, are you, Agent Smith? What? Oh. Mr. President! Please, accept my hospitality. Oh. Thank you so much, miss. Ooh. Here you go. <laughs> I bet that tasted quite dice. Oh, hey, I'm sorry, I never do this, but can I get this with no dice? You may want to reconsider. You'll need all five of those dice to escape. Yahtzee, Germany. <laughs> I didn't want to monetize this video anyway. Board games. Board games. Ugh, I'm so bored. Do you want to play Manopoly? How many board games do you have? 14. Now you'll have Just Uno. Today we're making a 65 inch touchscreen and writing software to digitally play any game you can find JPEGs of online. If you're like me, every year you're spending tens of dollars on board games. Why do that when you can make a one-time upfront investment of $700? Yeah, this project costs $700, just gonna pull that band-aid off right now. Hey honey, what do you want to spend this $1,200 check from the government on? Should probably get ahead on our mortgage payments. Also with Christmas coming up, we should probably get something for my parents. Oh, and my car's making a funny noise. Board game table. This year we've been spending a lot of time indoors. 2020 is a lot like basketball. Traveling is illegal. So the prospect of unlimited board games is quite appealing. So let's get into it. What do we need? Infrared touch frame. 4K Windows computer. 4K 65 inch TV. Ugh, I'm so bored. Oh. Hey. Hi. So... Plexiglass, wood, fabric. And that brings us to $700. I know that's a lot of money, but when you take into account that you got a 4K PC out of it and a 4K 65 inch Black Friday TV, that's a pretty good price. If you want to skip to the finished product, go to this timestamp. But if you stick around through the build process, I'm going to sprinkle in many board game puns. Look at that, we're already at five. First things first. In the words of the great Jack Skellington, what's this? This is an infrared touch frame. It has a row of infrared LEDs shining onto a row of infrared sensors. Blah, 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 magic. It turns your TV into a touch screen. It comes in four pieces, and then you just connect four. Once that's done, all you do is take the USB from the touch frame, plug it into your computer, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Butts. I know you kids these days love your iPod touches. This is not that. The big caveat to these is the magic plane where the touch happens is actually above where your finger meets the TV screen. This is where the plexiglass comes in. You can buy this outright from a hardware store, or if you live near an art gallery, paintings are a good source of clear plastic. Art galleries, hotel lobbies, your grandma's house. Cut the plastic to size and fit it as close to the invisible touch threshold as possible. It will never be perfect, but hey, where are you going to get a 65-inch touchscreen for a few hundred dollars? Ladies. No matter what your boyfriend tells you, this isn't 65 inches. This setup right here is everything you shouldn't do. One, size matters. I know saying that might be a bit taboo. This is your life. Er, this is your life. Bam. Where are your dudes going to put your deeds? Bam. Dudes can have deeds for days. Two. Resolution. My New Year's resolution is 4K, and you need all four of those Ks, because if you're missing a single one, then you can't reach. All right, now we've got this monument to consumerism here. I've taped the touch frame and the plexiglass to the TV in the most attractive manner possible. Will this duct tape hold? I have no clue. I may run into trouble, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. Sorry. There's one and only one flaw with this setup. Most games I know of are played horizontally. Do you have any fives? <sighs> to flip the TV on its back, we have to give it something to rest on. For that, we'll use wood. Much like Jesus Christ, right now I have to do some carpentry. But my ultimate goal is my own death. 
Here's what we're going to do. This toast represents the TV. On the back of the TV, there are four mounting screw holes. We're going to take our 2x4s and affix them to the TV. For stability, we'll add a cross section. I guess I could have just cut to the real thing. Perfect. When making a project that has already been professionally mass-produced, be sure to make it look extremely jank so when people come over they'll say, oh, did you make this? And there you go, hardware's all done. Now for the soft part, hardware. Er, now for the hard part, software. What do we want the software to be able to do? Well, display images, of course. You got the board, your tokens, money. But then you get to the complicated parts. Dice and decks of cards. You could do most of the dice stuff on your phone with an app, but cards? Not so much. Shuffling, having multiple players, flipping cards over, putting something on the bottom of the deck, keeping track of which deck the card came from. I looked really hard for software that could do everything I was hoping, but it was a trivial pursuit. Most of the stuff out there just does not lend itself to a touch screen with multiple players, some looking at their cards upside down relative to the screen orientation. So I made my own. Even though I have a degree in electrical engineering from an accredited university, my coding ability is absolute garbage. All right, let's give this baby a go. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I'm a 26 year old man, but I'm going to use a program that I have on good authority as used in elementary school classrooms. Construct 2. Honestly, it's a pretty good little program for making games. 10 out of 10, would recommend. If you have it, you can get my code in the description. Boom, done. You've got three options, tokens, decks, and dice. Tokens are a static image, so that would be your board and game pieces. Touch and hold for options like resizing and locking it in place. Dice default to regular six-sided dice, but they also serve a function as just a number block. You can change the maximum and minimum number as well as change what happens when you double tap. Roll, increment, or decrement. And now decks. Decks are what made coding this take 80 hours. You gotta shuffle it, tell it where to deal to, keep track of multiple decks, keep track of the order of the cards in the deck, be able to put the cards on the top or bottom of the deck, and be able to search the deck. There are an endless number of features I could add, but at some point you've just got to release something and fix the problems as they come along. This right here is able to play Monopoly, Uno, anything with a deck of standard playing cards, Magic the Gathering, and, depending on where your TV was manufactured, checkers or Chinese checkers. Engineering over. Time to play some games. All right, of course we've got to start off with the classic Monopony. I know everyone goes for Cloudsdale, but actually the most landed on space is Whitetail Wood. Let's take a look at our pieces. We got Twilight Sparkle, Princess Luna, Will Smith, Master Chief, VLC, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Ink Emoji, Thonk Emoji, Subscribe Button, My Cat, Me with the Mustache, My Cat with a Mustache, Monopoly Board, The Entire Shrek Movie Script, A Penny Because We Lost a Piece, and Race Car. Oh, could you move me? I'm a Danny DeVito's tasteful nude. Why do drugs when you can get high on life? One, two, three, four. Husband discovered online gambling. You lost $20,000. What? That's not what this says. Noah, I swear, if this is your way of telling me that you lost 20 grand gambling, I'm gonna- The amount of games that can be played boggles my mind. Checkmate. Hmm. Checkmate. Checkmate indeed. I don't like people seeing me naked. Or picturing me naked. That's why we need privacy. I tried to 3D print plastic covers, kind of like using trifold folders to cover the answers to your spelling test in first grade. But just like first grade, I failed. Too close to the screen and it caused false touch events. Too far and you could see your opponent's cards. But what if everyone had their own private screen? A personal touch screen? Well, what is something that everyone carries around with them nowadays? That's right, 
emotional baggage. I mean phones. Due to the screen size, the app download required, and the fussing around with screen resolution, I went ahead and got a couple of $40 tablets for people to use, rather than having guests go through that process on their own phone. This app called Space Desk allows you to use your tablet as a second monitor in Windows. From there, it's just a matter of dragging the game window to fit all the new screens. <laughs> Not doing too well, are you, Bond? Let me save you the trouble of arranging your deck. Who know? Well, crikey, that's a bummer, but not for me. Skip, skip, reverse, reverse, draw four, uno, blue, bam. Where's my martini? Well, you've seen a lot of me playing with myself. What we need is some outside opinions. Let's hear some reviews from my family. The people who love me most. The people who are always there to support me in all my endeavors. Now, press and hold the card to bring up the options menu. The menu's upside down. Now press and hold the I, I kind of prefer holding the cards. I'm not really a board game kind of guy. I'm tapping out. Anybody want anything from the kitchen? Is this even legal? You know we own Monopoly, right? <laughs> I forgot my line now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the eggplant emoji. I'm my tasteful nude. My piece is the picture of you sleeping last night. The first frame of the Rickroll. Steve Jobs doing this. The uh, Hindenburg disaster. A copyrighted one I couldn't put on camera. The Home Alone kid photoshopped into the screen painting. A screenshot I took while accidentally turning on my phone. A screenshot of this frame in the video. This swing weighs like 50 pounds. That's almost two football fields. There's a cat on the board. <laughs>